one nil defeat at home to Stratford today. How do you assess that one? Yeah, I think um, I think Coley, our manager, I think he set up uh, an attacking formation where to get forward more because I think recently in past games I think we've been too defensive and like holding it up where we need to get high enough to get to the goals and unfortunately that didn't happen today. And you know, as you say, you were in more of an attacking formation, and you and the boys did have quite a few chances to get back into it. Couldn't get it, couldn't quite get it over the line, but you, it was good to create the opportunities, wasn't it? Yeah, I think um, the final decision, I think, where we get into the third area, is where to go from there. I think we get the balls in the box and stuff, and it's kind of poor choices. I think for myself as well, some some areas in the game, I think, could have done different things as well as other people, but just stuff to look back on the game for. And as for you, Elliot, you were called into action quite a few times, making some great saves. Despite despite the loss, it was still a good shift from the boys, wasn't it? Despite the loss, I think I think we set up in the right way. I think we tried to play in the right the right way. Um, Colin, I don't think I think he set it up right. You know, um, defensively throughout the game, we was actually quite solid. So to lose one 0 was quite disappointing. Um, but but we'll go again on the next game. No no game next week, boys. So a full week of, of training. What are you and the boys gonna gonna look to work on in your, in your sessions? I mean, we'll, we'll get them in, and obviously we defended quite well today. Um, it's really going to be getting into the final third. You know, just finishing, just getting the boys to gel a bit more than they already have. Yeah, I think also with the um, doing that in the sessions where we got the week off, I think it would be good to like have a session with the boys as well because I think a lot of the boys it's not really that many training sessions on. Mm. So I think it would be good to get together and focus from what we've did wrong on this game into the training session. And, and finally boys, <clears throat> what's the, the spirit been like in, in the camp so far this season? You know, you seem like a, a good bunch of lads sort of starting to gel together and, and perform as well. I think it's been good to be fair. I think a lot of the players like Tim Hill as well, I think he's just got his first um, the, uh, FA Trophy game in the, with the first. I think it's good getting the spirit up because I think that gives the other boys saying, oh, if he's doing it, why can't I do it? So I think everyone's kind of doing well. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, Hilly, for a first start for you on the weekend. Yeah, Elliot, think, Elliot's been on the bench a lot as well. Yeah, yeah I think um, it's an um, unreal experience. I think um, where being on the bench um, a lot of the times this season and that towards the end of last season, I think it was good to finally get the first start and have the full impact of like a National League North game. I think the intensity and stuff, is, it, it was high and stuff. And playing a proper men's football like that, I think, I didn't look out of place and I think um, I want more of that. I think doing more training and doing all these games as well, helping me get the fitness, I think I can, I can do it. And as for you, Elliot, you've been involved with the first team uh, quite a lot recently. You also had a, a loan spell at Tuffley. Just, you know, how was that as you know, sort of experience for, for men's football? Yeah, I mean, down at Tuffley, Muzzy's great. You know, the boys are great. Um, it, it was a real, real good atmosphere around the club. Despite having a run of losses before, I've ended up coming back. Um, but you know, it's good to be around the boys here. It's good to be in the squad every week. So hopefully, just onwards and upwards.